Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Trans West. My name is Katie O'Neill, and today we are going to take a tour of a Verona. Uh, my contact information, in case you'd like it, 303-562-8659 is my number. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West in Frederick, Colorado, and uh, today's exciting. Uh, we're going to talk to you today about a really cool RV. Uh, this year, the Verona comes out with something it has never had before, and I'm going to have Jody kind of pan ahead for kind of a sneak peek. Right behind you, you'll see the bunk over cab model. So we've always had this in the Valencia. We've never had this in a Verona. So this is a really special opportunity to take a look at this uh, new model for Verona in the, the 2021 model year. Uh, today, we're looking at a VBH. So today will be a bunk bed model. Uh, but this Verona is also available in the VBH, which is a our VSB, I'm sorry, which is one of our most popular models. Uh, when you get into the Verona level, you get some really cool stuff. It's an all electric coach. Uh, you've got the aqua hot system. You've got induction cooktops. Um, it's, it's a really great vehicle for boondocking. And this particular model is a bunk model. So let's go ahead and start in the back and we'll kind of cover a bunch of information today. Um, I feel like Monday is Groundhog Day. I do a video every Monday. And last week I did a great uh, Verona LE. This is a Verona. The difference between the LE and the regular Verona, uh, the first thing you'll notice is that there's no ceiling fan in here, but you still will have two uh, air conditioners, front and rear, uh, plenty of capacity to keep everything cool in your RV while you're camping. Uh, this model in particular is really awesome. Uh, the bed that you're seeing here is a 72 by 74 king bed. Um, so really spacious for mom and dad. You'll notice this is a really, really nice bedroom. Um, so Jody's gonna pan up and show you the cabinets above on the left and right. And then Jody, if you don't mind, I'm gonna just have you swing back over here and I wanna show off some of these features. So first of all, a nice place just to keep some of your own personal goods. Uh, mom and dad deserve to have a little bit of privacy that kind of allows for that there. We also have overhead reading lamps. And then you'll notice that there are USB uh, charging port and plug here. If you've got a CPAP machine or anything like that, you've got something you can plug it into, as well as a really nice drawer um, and a great place to keep and stow, uh, especially while you're in motion, water bottles, things along those lines. So a lot of storage. One of the things that we'll notice today as we go through this coach is that all of these cabinets are super solid. Um, this is a maple uh, cabinet that you'll see. We've got three of these wardrobes. You also have really big drawer spaces and this coach can hold a lot of people so it's got a lot of great storage it's got a lot of room in it um, this color on the interior is let me just take a look I've got it written down for us it can't be all the way on page two there's so much to talk about um, I'll come back to that but I do have I love these maple cabinets um, they're absolutely uh, stunning really really pretty and then you'll notice that we have this Seren Serenmo is the name of the polished service here so if you're looking for that dark finish that's the one you're gonna want it's maybe San Remo S-A-N-R-E-M-O and then you'll notice behind here we also have an emergency exit in the rear uh, cabin so if your kids are really making you crazy and you want to sneak out at night, bam, we've got the solution for you. Uh, <laughs> so seriously, so you've got a Blu-ray player down here. Again, a ton of additional storage, um, more drawer space, Blu-ray player back here so you guys can watch your own movies. The kids are going to have their own Blu-ray player. Uh, last time we did this, I made a joke that you could take out this center divider so you could store all of your evening gowns in case you're going to the opera in the forest. Who knows? Uh, and then behind us, let's go ahead, Jody, and take a look at some of these nice controls that we have for the parents. So you've got the capacity to turn your lights off. You can start your generator. You can run your water pump. You can uh, turn everything on and, off, on and off right here from the side of the bed. And that leads me into something else I'd like to cover. And that's that we're going to be talking about this app today. But you can also use, for instance, a light master, and you can cover all of that information here with your little app. You can come in here and see what kind of you know, storage capacity you have in your tanks. Underneath this bed, you have 150 gallons of fresh water. Um, you also have two 75 gallon holding tanks, one for gray water, one for black water. What that means is you've got a lot of extra capacity in case you've got dirty clothes to wash. 
Uh, if you'd like to wash those, you can do that here. I love the location of this washer and dryer. Uh, the Splendid is really nice. It's big. It can do a lot of loads. Um, and I like the way it's separated from cabinet to cabinet. I also like the location being next to the bed, so you've got a place to take everything out and fold it. The nice thing is, if you'd like to get away, um, one thing we always cover here is that these are just really simple mechanisms to keep drawers, doors in place. It's just a snap. Um, so you've got these big, beautiful, solid doors. And if I close this, I've got a completely separate area away from the kids' bunk beds. And I also can close this door and this door, and they have their own room. So we're going to enter into this next portion here. And you'll see this is uh, a really nice 80 by 30 uh, mattress. So if you have tall kids, um, I got to tell you, like you could be six foot in here. They each have their own Samsung TVs, uh, the 18 inch uh, televisions back here for the kids. And let's take a look here. What else is important? All your, uh, once again, you've got your controls here, place for them to plug in their laptops. If they want to watch, you know, maybe do their, their uh, distance learning from the cab, they can hang out here during the day, just chill. They've got storage underneath. So lots of extra storage in this unit. So again, this is a really cool model. This is the VBH. So this has a king bed, two bunks, the dinette converts into a bed and so does the couch. I mean, you could just take the whole entire family. You wouldn't even need to like, you know, rendezvous for a family reunion. You could just have everyone go with you. All right, so let's go into this cool bathroom. So this is a bigger bathroom than we have in most of the Ronas. Um, it's giving you a little extra storage. So up here, you've got a great place. I like to keep my toilet paper, all my cleaning supplies up here. Lots and lots of room. Once again, there's that really solid sound that you get here and then plenty of room for shampoo conditioner things along those lines once again we're gonna have a really big super solid adjustable medicine cabinet everything is solid wood here I mean this is just a really cool cool coach in terms of its overall construction and being that you have so many people I mean you have enough room to keep oh sorry Jody I cut you off there didn't I You're good. And then here's a little more room for, I don't know, this would be like the top drawers for the parents' toothbrushes and toothpaste and, you know, supplies. And then this one's for the kids because kids are kind of gross. Uh, <laughs> so this has got the Aqua Hot system. So this is a 250D. This Aqua Hot system gives you endless hot water. Um, when I say hot, I mean like really, really hot. And the nice thing is, is we have this, I mean, I can't even touch the ceiling here. We have this really big overhead skylight. Um, it's a little dingy and dreary out today. It doesn't feel like it in this bathroom, but plenty of room. You've got a seat so you can sit down, wash your feet, shave your legs, all that stuff that you need to do when you're on the road. And then Jody, you'll go ahead and hop out first. That way I can, uh, I don't know, I don't have to brush, brush up against you quite as tight. Um, I'll show you this though. I really like this aspect again. So this is magnetic. So it's easy to open and close. It does really kind of lock in all of the warm air when you're taking a shower. So if it's cold in the morning, it really stays pretty warm in that little cabinet. And then go ahead and close this door. And I'm going to close you in here, Jody, because I really think it's important to highlight that you have a completely separate bedroom. So these kids can come in here. Parents can stay up and watch a movie. Kids can hang out, watch a movie, do their own thing. And then you can have grandma and grandpa up here playing cards until two o'clock in the morning because we all know that that's how it really goes down. All right, so <laughs> here we go. This is a really nice dinette here. Um, once again, you know, this is a convertible bed. Uh, there is storage underneath here. So um, these are the cushions that you would use to make the bed, but you can also use this, for instance, for cereal boxes or any kind of dry goods, breads, things along those lines. Um, I love the uh, sconces and all the LED lighting throughout the cabinet, really beautiful. Um, I love the finish. This is actually the same finish that I have in my Verona. I have the VSB, not the VBH, so I have the same model in the 36 foot. This is a 40 foot coach, that's why you have all that extra room. But I wanted to show you how much storage you have in there. So you could actually put board games uh, in this way, so sideways. So lots and lots of room, keep things, dishes, batteries, outdoor camping kits, uh, anything that you need. Uh, we have a lot of bins in ours. 
Uh, I do put a little bit of a vegetable liner down to keep the rattles down and I'll tell you it is just an amazing amount of functionality in an RV. Uh, so up here I wanted to show you we're going to convert the bed in just a moment but before I do uh, I think it's important to show you how nice the the uh, blockage of light is here so these are really great shades they block out all the light completely and then you do have your daytime shades as well you also have a nice screen so if you want some fresh air in your coach you've got that availability um, and we are going to show you all of the sleeping accommodations uh, last week we opened up the le the bed converts a little bit differently uh, this is the one that i have and i think it's really important because you know you always wonder how much room do you really have and these uh, extendable beds and are they comfortable and the answer is a lot and yes so let me just show you how this works pretty cool uh, the way Renegade puts these together so slide this up there's a little latch here underneath just pull that up and it goes ahead drops down and then it slides out and you just put out these two little arms and voila uh, one of the things that's really important to show you here is I have access to the top bunk. So Jody, if you want to show over there, so I can still get up and down my ladder, and I have access to my bed. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this down for us. So look at all of that room. And once again, I know I did this last week, but I think it's important. This is a big bed. So as an adult, plenty of room. If the kids want to be in the bunks, you want to have extra people come on the road trip with you. Got plenty of room for everybody. And it's really easy to put up. You just fold the headboard back up. Oh, Jody, take a look. Show all those seat belts. Okay, I know we said that you could have a lot of people, but you have to have them safely, right? So there's three seat belts there. And then there's two more seat belts that are in the uh, dinette area of the booth. It's important to note you are not allowed to have rear facing people while driving. So there's only two more seat belts there, not four. Doesn't get much easier than that. Put our cushions back into place and we are ready to watch a movie. Okay, so you have another Samsung TV in here. You have another Blu-ray player. You also have a sound bar. So you can listen to anything on your phone. Again, I know we talk about this a lot. Oh, there's that sound bar. But again, we have more USB ports and another outlet. If you've got a few kids that are doing remote learning, you can never have enough power sources. Um, so lots of capacity here uh, for hanging out with the family. Uh, this is a really, really spacious, amount of room uh, when you have a lot of people you need an 18 foot cubic refrigerator this is a really really big fridge i love the movable fresh box um, just depending on what you have to store i also like that i can change the humidity control so if i've got fruits and vegetables that i want to be able to make hamburgers and salads on my road trip i can um, really nice ice maker in the freezer secondary storage Lots and lots of room for frozen goods, bags of ice, whatever it might be. And then a ton of pantry space. Um, so this is a really decadent aspect of this coach. Tons and tons of pantry space. And the solid dovetail construction of these drawers was something that only the Amish could bring. I, I, I can't speak highly enough. Um, I was blessed enough to have a chance to see this first overhead, bunk overhead cab model. Uh, earlier this summer when I went out to Elkhart, Indiana for a factory tour. Uh, Tim O'Connell was the most gracious host and uh, everybody there was so friendly and I was just really overwhelmed with the amount of care uh, that goes into the manufacturing of this product for, for Renegade. So up here is where your controls are for your Blu-ray player. We do also have an antenna mounted on this so if you don't want to have a DVD subscription. Uh, we do have satellite also in motion mounted to this coach, but you could just use the Razer antenna that is already installed on this unit. Um, really big Samsung microwave. It's also a convection oven. Lots of room here. 
If you're wondering, yes, you can make cookies and you can microwave a burrito, both. Two important things. Uh, below that, you'll see our true induction. Uh, the true induction cooktops are so cool that in the next house that I have, I will not have gas. I will only have true induction. Um, there's a big hubbub about the pans. They're easy to come across. You can buy nice ones. You can buy inexpensive ones. The most important thing is this is not going to catch on fire. The demonstration that we had uh, done for us, they actually put a paper towel underneath a pot and then boiled water. What a relief, especially if you're in a bunk model RV with kids. <laughs> uh, this backsplash is called Denali. Um, you'll find Denali is in a lot of the Renegade uh, Verona models. It's a really beautiful tile. What's nice about it, it's got a little bit of everything, so you can get colors uh, to tie into all of your favorite throw pillows. Um, I would highly encourage you to have uh, a label maker, because with all of these TVs, you have a ton of remotes. Uh, you can get the all-in-one, but then everyone's fighting for it, right? Uh, so here's all of your um, fuses underneath here and then we talked about this last week but uh, here is the Renegade contact information for customer service and of, of course it's important to remember that you can call us so not only do you have all of the contact for Renegade we have a full-time employee that does nothing but answer questions if you don't know how to turn on your aqua hot system maybe you need to use you know a water pump and you're not familiar with where that button is we can always answer those questions for you uh, we've got somebody answers the phone for us and then most importantly you have me uh, all of these are soft closed doors i don't know if you saw that and then there's some more storage here and then along with a really nice feature under the sink would highly recommend if you get a white trash can a blue trash can and a gray trash can you've got one for inside one for outside and one for recycling stack them together hit the road um, there's a lot of storage under here, Jody. If you can pan in there, I can't tell you. I keep a shop back down there. Um, I keep all of my cleaning supplies. I keep our pouring paints for decorating rocks. I mean, lots and lots of room. And then another access point under that shelf. So very, very cool. Uh, this is a residential faucet. Uh, we have a great sink here. What's nice about the sink, there's no divider, so it's really big. It's tall, you can put lots of things in there. You've got a pour in spray head here. And then of course, look at all of this room. So, and this is just another door to access that same cabinet. So now, um, we'll cover the television just briefly. This does unmount from the wall. You just pull down here so you can swivel it to face the uh, middle of the cabin. But this is the point that we've all been waiting for. Jody, if you could just pan up here for these guys and show them. Uh, we have our television up here. And then I'm going to go ahead, we're going to pan to the left and show you the, uh, this beautiful uh, panoramic roof here. I love the fact that you have this nice extra point of light in the cab. Great for driving. And then on the left hand side there you'll see that we also have outlets up top, place for the kids to keep either remote controls, maybe a book, whatever it is that they like, their cell phones, so, so, far, so on and so forth. And then I'm going to go ahead and just pop this bad boy up and we're going to slide this thing forward, put our handy dandy ladder up where it belongs. And we are ready to hit the road. So this bunk overhead cab is super cool. Lots of easy access. You can leave it closed while you're driving if you'd like. There are pins to secure it. Oh, I've got them up here put away, but there are pins to secure it if you decide to drive with it. Um, you'll notice that our seats here are super plush. They are heated. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the features that you have up front. First of all, we have a six-speed Allison transmission. Uh, we also have engine braking, power door locks, backup camera. Um, you'll look down below the steering column. It, we have a standard brake controller. This coach has a 20,000 pound towing capacity. Uh, it's super awesome. You're also gonna have 
your automatic um, distance control as well as blind spot assist in this coach. So uh, this will help keep you safe, let you know when you're getting a little bit too close for someone for going uh, at the speed you're going. Heated mirrors is another nice feature that you'll find here. Um, and most importantly, this thing is just awesome. This is a semi. Um, so the only thing that I think makes this cooler than everything else in the market is this. I love that. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? That was your, that was your blind spot control. All right, so uh, we also are gonna have the Garmin navigation system. Super cool there. There we go, there's our backup camera. Um, Wi-Fi, of course, or uh, sorry, Bluetooth, so you can go ahead and listen to whatever music you like. Um, this is that, just that digital tracking. It'll tell you if you're getting a little bit too close. Here's your lane alert. You can turn that on and off. So if you don't particularly care for it, you don't have to use it. If you're in a windier area, you can turn it off. Um, nice little things like great place to keep your wallet and your uh, your cell phone right here. And you've got one of the one of those on each side of the cab. Great cup holders. Um, I drive this RV all the time. If anyone's out there and they're concerned about engine noise, I gotta tell you, I, I don't have an issue with it. Um, I love driving it. It's really solid in bad conditions. Uh, it's got plenty of power. We usually pull a 16 foot bull nose trailer behind us. You could certainly flat tow a car, but with a 20,000 pound towing capacity, kind of sky's the limit. Uh, this coach really allows you to get out and do things where you want to do where, where you want to do them. Um, you'll find these track side a lot. We find them at the side of Ironman events a lot. There's a ton of people that have Renegades because they're so good for boondocking. Um, so let me grab my clipboard and we're going to go ahead and head out. I want to make sure I go through my list and cover everything I wanted to talk about. Um, we talked about the 72 by 74 king bed in the back. We talked about the Blu-ray players, the 19 inch monitors in the bunk, the bunks that measure 30 by 80, the multiplex control system. Let's just go back over that, Jody. do you mind? So right here is how we are going to be able to control the coach, not only from the inside, but from the outside. Uh, Jody's going to go ahead and back uh, to the center of the, of the coach where the restroom is. And I'm going to close our slide in so you can see how much room we have to walk through. Um, and I can do it on the wall with the Firefly system, or I can very simply go here on my phone and I'm using this little Firefly system. I'm going to go to slides and I'm going to go to front slide and I'm going to hit retract. So this is a really nice feature. Um, I know it's like, oh, on the inside, I mean, why not just go to the control panel? Well, what happens when you, you know, when you land and you get to your campsite, it's late at night, you know, you got to get the kids down. Everyone's been driving all day. Really cool. You can go outside with your cell phone and make sure that you're not going to hit a tree with your slide. Uh, I know it sounds like a small thing, but it's a really big deal. The other thing that's really big about traveling in one of these RVs is, you know, I've got three or four kids with me. I need to make sure that everyone can kind of get around and get to the bathroom comfortably. So I want to show you how much room you have with this coach fully retracted. This is so amazing. This is seriously all the way in. This is how much room I have to move around and operate. I can go ahead and make a burrito. I can make mom and dad lunch. I can do whatever I need to do because this coach, even fully slid in, has a ton of room. Um, so really, really like that aspect of the Renegade. It's better than anything I've seen on the market. And like I said, super fun to drive. Let's go ahead and get downstairs, Jody. Let's get outside. And on our way out, we're gonna talk about a few things that we'll see on the way down, one of them is going to be our solar uh, solar panel where we can look at our, uh, we've got three solar panels that are 170 watts on top of this coach with a 3000 uh, watt inverter. Um, it's made specifically for this RV that is running on solar or plugged in. We do have 50 amp. You'll also see our hydraulic leveling system. Super cool right here. Also, of course, fire extinguisher. Then battery disconnect is really easy to access and so is your slide cover, and this E starts just to help you jump with your house batteries. So let's come on outside and take a look at some of these other great features. Okay, so we covered the safety assurance package. We didn't talk about these little bullet cameras here on the side. Uh, these are really nice. So these are just going to tell you, if, you're, if you put your right signal on, this will illuminate the whole right-hand side of the coach while you're driving. Uh, you can leave your rear camera on the entire time to make sure you've cleared somebody when you're trying to pass them. Um, but up here, once again, this is that safety system that we have on here. 
So you can see that little front camera. And then we're gonna pan to something really exciting about this Verona. So once again, we have this new panoramic roof. This is new for 2021. If you are looking for a bunk over cab model in 2020, you will not find it. The Verona only comes 2021 going forward with the bunk over cab model. You don't have to have the bunk beds. If you just want the extra sleeping accommodations, you would get a 36 instead of a 40 foot coach. Um, this is a sold unit. Uh, we've been waiting for this. This is one of the first that we've had come in. Got the next one sold too, but I have two more. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, they will both have this really great package where you have this amazing new grill. Um, I think it's absolutely stunning. This is a really nice feature for, uh, for Renegade. If you'd like to know what it's called, it's the, this is the Caliber 9 Bright Finish Grill Package. So that's that little C9 up there. Uh, just absolutely stunning. A little bit more of that uh, radar you got right there for your distance control. We do have a really nice diamond shield here. I know you don't believe me because you can't see it. Uh, there's a guy in Elkhart who sits there on a little bench and puts these things on. And he has got to be one of Santa's helpers because he does an amazing job. Elf-like skills, all I gotta say. And look at these mirrors, how cool is this? So one of the nice features of a Verona is that you have these extra doors. So you can get in and out of the front. Uh, this has a gas tank that fills on both sides. So you've got dual fill. So kind of like Bonnie and Clyde, you and your hubby can hop out, get her filled up, get back on the road. You've got a hundred gallon fuel capacity. That's uh, two 50 gallon tanks. They do uh, bleed back and forth together. That's a question we get a lot. So yes, they will. You can fill one if you wanted to. Takes a little longer. Best thing you can do, find a semi shop, pull in, drop it in on both sides. That's what I would do. Nice and quick there. Um, okay, let's talk about some other cool things. Uh, oh, how about this? How about storage capacity? Man, how nice is that? And all of these are carpet lined. You'll notice that we have two latches here. This is not a joke. I mean, we are seriously closed up. Did you hear that? Oh my goodness. Uh, so these are for your uh, slides. If you want to lock your slides, you're welcome to. I never have, but it's probably a good idea. Who knows? Um, <laughs> Once again, adjustable Samsung TV on the outside. More importantly to us, USB charger on the outside of your coach so you can keep your phone there, get it, get it ramped up after a nice hike. And I love the Bluetooth capable uh, sound system here where you have AM, FM, a CD player, DVD player, but more important, you can just use your phone on the speakers and you can sit out here and barbecue with your family. Man, did you hear that? That's that dual latch, pretty awesome. So let's close this one. And then for our next magic trick, so here we go, front slide, window slides, rear slide, retract. Look at that, how cool is that? So that's my app right here, if you wanna see what I'm doing. Just hold that little button on my phone. Bringing her all in. So this is the American Racing Series package on the, on the wheel you'll see here. So along with that cool grill, you can also get these blacked out rims. Um, I love this. This is a factory option. It looks like something we might have done here at the dealership. It's actually how this RV was ordered. Uh, we're, we've actually got the next three or four coming in with the American Racing Wheels. Uh, we just think it looks great. Um, this is the ingot exterior. Man, doesn't that sound good? All right, so here's our last little cab. I love this. I mean, you can keep, I don't know. So we have, at ours, we have Home Depot buckets because who doesn't need a Home Depot bucket? <laughs> but anyway, so I think that that's so cool though. So we just put that whole slide in with our phone. Uh, here's your tow package. Once again, trailer brake is standard. You've got a 20,000 pound hitch. This is a really great color. Uh, rear view camera right up there above the Verona symbol. Uh, people see this RV and I'll tell you, we get stopped nonstop. If you want a head turning RV, this is the one. Uh, people love these Renegades and who can blame them? They're just spectacular. Uh, we do have a 50 amp power hose reel here. It is 36 feet long, that is awesome. Also comes standard with the 15 amp 
or the 30 amp converter. And there's also, that's where you're gonna find your uh, surge protector here underneath. And then this is the power button is right here. Jody, if you wanna show that. And these little guys here, they just come up and that's where you put your little hose out. And then when you leave, you can just twist it tight. You know that it's put away nice and no moisture in that in that little door there. Uh, so this is an 8,000 kilowatt Onan quiet generator. Um, this runs off of your 100 gallons of diesel um, if you need it. Um, you're gonna need it a lot less with solar. Uh, having three 175 amp solar panels is huge. Um, here we also have a power hose reel, a whole house water filler uh, filter, and a really easy to use system. Once again, there's one of those covers down here, and there is an outdoor shower and hose spigot, which you can run through here as well. So really easy to clean out your black and gray tanks. Again, 75 gallons of gray water. That is so many showers while boondocking. That's like a girl's best dream. Uh, this is a great cab. This is where our black, black hose goes, but check it out. You can put fishing rods in there too, and you can spray it out with a water hose, which happens to be conveniently located just to the right. So this is how you get endless hot water. This, this is a 25D aqua hot. Now it's important to understand this glycol mix that you see on the left hand side that's kind of a blue green color. That is running through the hose underneath the cab the entire time if you would like to use hydronic heating as well. So you don't need to use your two heat pumps. You can use your aqua hot system to do your radiant heating. And what it does is it just runs that glycol mix through a hose that blows warm air over the top of it. And it's a really quiet way to keep you warm during the winter months. And this is a great coach for taking out. I mean, if you want to go anywhere, if you want to, if you want a coach that's capable of getting up in the mountains when it's cold and snowy, this is the one. Um, just another little bit of storage here. It's incredible how much storage you have for a semi truck. And then here's our lithium ion battery pack. So this is an optional feature. Uh, you can actually monitor this as well with your Firefly system on your phone. So that Vegas system is going to let you see what your uh, what kind of charge you have, how you're faring on the uh, maybe overcast day. I was looking at it earlier. I wonder if I can find it. Here we go. So this is kind of interesting. My charge rate's 100%, and it's really overcast. So I think a lot of people have that question. Um, but yes, absolutely cool that you can see whether or not you've got enough juice to kind of stay out and go hiking a little bit longer. Uh, and then you'll see here's your other fueling tank. So this is your other fill for your diesel. And then here's your def tank. Super easy to get to. And now we're going to do something I think that's really important because this is one of the defining features and one of the reasons that you actually buy uh, a Renegade over a Class A. And it's because you have access to this engine compartment. So if you have any mechanical needs, how cool is that? So again, this is the L9. This is a 350 horsepower engine with 1,150 foot-pounds of torque, uh, capable of towing 20,000 pounds. And this is so easy to get to. Everything that you need is right here at your fingertips. If you have any kind of mechanical issue, you can have roadside assistants come. They can do a lot of things on the spot because they don't have to get underneath the bed in the rear of the coach. It's not a pusher, this is a puller. Um, another little bullet light here. And I think that that kind of covers a lot of, you know, the exciting aspects that I wanted to cover today. Um, I am gonna close this up so that Jody can get a nice shot for you guys with the awning open. Uh, but before I say goodbye, like I said, this one's not for sale because I sold the first two. I got two more, man. So if you want two RVs, let me know. I'm Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West. My number is 303-562-8659. There's a lot more to share with you. Hopefully this has been an insightful video that's given you some information, some answers to questions you might have. If there's anything else I can help you with, I've got comments. I respond to them. Love to see you here on Facebook or on YouTube. Thanks so much for coming to Trans West today. We really appreciate your time. And Jody, show them that cool LED light strip. <laughs> All right, you guys, signing off.